So um, after I did all those varied properties, I've simmed it out and I did a play blast. So <clears throat> ignore the sort of erraticness here, but all this, you, know, you get some nice smoke starting to roll a bit, just all those different temperatures, speeds, velocities and whatnot going on in there. It's giving us a bit more, you know, visually a lot more interesting. Um, so let's move on. <clears throat> so we've done varying properties. Uh, so we've got all these four that are going in. Let's just do this like so. So uh, let's ignore these. We haven't got any colliders. I might just delete those for time. I don't think we need them anymore. Um, but just just have a quick look at our network. So um, let me just pause the graph because it is starting to lag a bit. Even though it's cached, it's sort of updating when I do stuff. Um, pause. So it disappears when you pause. So we're varying the speed from 0 to 10. We're varying the directions, uh, keeping mainly going upwards, but we're giving it a bit of left and right and back and forth. Um, we're varying the temperature from just above the ambient to quite high. Uh, and then we're varying the density as well from minus 2 to 4. That goes into the source air. It's being simulated. Solver settings, we've got the fluffy. It's the only thing we've really changed here. Cache net, sound and material, and then we are putting it like that. Um, let me just unpause a little bit. It's in graph. Let's go to the attributes. Um, bam, bam, bam. So let's add a light. Let's just see what happens when we add a light in here. Um, I'm just going to, just really for the viewport, so I'm just going to add a directional light. So scale him up so we can see where he is. Move him around. Let's show lights. See what we get. There we go. So just to give us a bit more, we can just move him up because we're not going to. Doesn't matter where a directional light is positioned in the scene. It just does it from a direction. There we go. Move that over there. So just to give it a bit more viewport shadowing, so he's got a bit of shadowing on it there. Um, and if I went to the attributes for the smoke, maybe, you don't want that, I don't think you really need a mission on a thingy, but you can do, I think, let's just try, yeah, that. So, scatter basically scatters the light as it goes through it and um, you can see it sort of gets darker. Um, I'm just going to make mine a little bit more a bit more brownish but not too much. Um, and you can see when you do the density of the transparency down it gets quite blobby. We do want some of that edges to be going. Um, and you know, you can always crank this up to big dense numbers as well if you want something like that. Um, I'm going to go I think four where I had it is pretty good. Okay. Um, and maybe just bring that down a little bit. Anyway, so I'm just sort of playing around, showing you can play around with these bits. Um, now, we've got. This doing sort of this. This is nice, but we could do with a bit more, I think, detail in there. Nice to get some sort of vortices and rolling in it. Always adds really nicely to smoke. Um, so let's go about doing that. <clears throat> Oops. Sorry, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of you. Zoom back a bit. Everything starts getting a little bit slower when you start, you know, having a bit more of a complicated sim. Um, so we're going to look at influences. And if I tab and I start tab influences in flu, um, you can see there's a load of them. And actually, there's a load of these I've not even looked at. These are new ones. Um, 
so pyroclastic influence. Mm. Uh, right, so I'm not sure that's actually one year. Oh, it's in the rebel pack. Okay. Never used this before. Could could try it. Um, let's stick with the original just for the time being, because if you haven't installed the rebel pack, it's been no fun for you. So I'm just going to go to get a simulation influences. Get this whole load of them here. I want a uh, vorticity. Crank that in, and we're going to connect that. And let's have a look at the settings. Not many, there's only two. Um, so turn it on. How much vorticity do you want in the scale of the vorticity? I think the scale is in relation to. Yeah, it's 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 going to add vorticity to the larger. You know, when we looked at the sort of voxels and it gets larger and it gets further away, it will add vorticity to those larger ones as well when you put the scale up. Um, so let's just put that at five. Just to see what happens. And I'm just going to cache this again so we can see. Um, at the moment it's taking about 10 minutes to cache, so I'll pause the video. Though I might just call this. Uh, actually, I won't. I'll just keep saying it because one of the reasons. Um, where are they? The though they're not massive, Fame 100. They are now half a gig in size. These caches. So if I go in there, properties. I've already got 22 gig of cache on this, so it's quite big. Um, right. So let's go to write mode. And let me just check what I've got put in there. Five. Let me leave out five. See what happens. Um, and let's do play. And I'll pause. So I was simming that out, and obviously it's gone not well. Um, just got this sort of fussy ball now since I put vorticity on it. So I'm just going to go back in. Um, which, what is the default for? City influence one. Okay, well, I'm just going to go back and I'll put that to one and then do it again. Uh, so it's all a bit of trial and error. And that's one of the things why it can be quite a slow workflow is you know, you do something, you sim it. Um, one of the things that I've learned is that try not to sim something out, you look at it and go. I wish it was a bit going up a bit quicker and I wish it was a bit thicker and I wish there was more curl going in it and you go in there and you go right right make it a bit thicker so add more fog and it's make it go up quicker then more temperature and maybe some direction and then you sim it and then it all goes wrong again and then you're thinking well what made that go wrong because you changed all those settings it's always good just to try if you can just change one at a time sim it for a bit see what it looks like and then go back and change another one otherwise it can get quite everything can go a bit sort of confusing Anyway, I'm going to try and sim that again. And then I'll pause this. So um, I ended up, I think I'm pausing it, but I ended up going down to 0.4 and I got this. So it's added quite a lot of sort of noisy detail to it. Um, what Vorticity does is it sort of adds some circular motion into the sort of scene. Um, which you get with sort of smoke. One of the things about it though is it will just keep applying it over and over again and you do get quite noisy. Um, it starts sort of getting quite sort of turbulent and noisy. Let's turn that to read. I might just let's let that reread that. Um, let's do a quick play blast. Let's give it a new name so we can compare and contrast. Um, what am I going to call this one? Um, velocity or vorticity. Vorticity. Right, I'll pause this and let that play out. 
So I'm going to play blast of that. Um, you can see we're getting nice more, but it just sort of gets a bit noisy towards the end. So that's sort of getting a bit chaotic and losing form here. Um, and that's because the vortex get, keeps getting applied and applied and applied and applied on top of everything. And it just, after a while, it starts making everything a little bit confused. So what you can do, and what they've sort of set up, is um, let me minimize that. So influences, you can daisy chain them. Um, you can add one into the other. So hence, this has got an influence input here. Um, so you could add some wind into that, and it would be playing that array, or something like that. You know, you can, you can make quite complicated sort of structures of these influences. Uh, but one of the ones that's handy, which I'm going to show, is modulate. Um, let's make that. So modulate. What it does is, at the moment, this vorticity is being applied throughout the sim over everything, and after a while, it's sort of breaking it up and making it a bit noisy. So what you can do is you can modulate this using one of the properties. So by default, it's the voxel voxel fog density, um, and you've got a min and a max and what you're saying is at 1 for fog density use 0.4 velocity as it the density of the fog gets less and less this gets less and less as well so that by the time you're at 0 fog density there is no vorticity being applied so it sort of modulates that influence to apply it to more to denser parts of the smoke and as it gets thinner it stops doing it so that sort of helps control some of this noise so what I want to do is I want to look at my fog property so I go between 4 and minus 2 so I'm not going to put minus 2 there but say anything below 1 I don't want any vorticity to happen to so I'm just going to go modulate here I'm going to put that one to say anything over 3 we'll get 4 full and anything under 1 we'll get none and then if I link that to that Right, so change my cache back to right. I'm just going to rewind that back to right, and I'm going to sim that out. Then we'll pause and come back and have a look at that. So um, just sim that one out. Uh, let's just have a look at the last frame of the other one. I think I may have overdone it now. That looks a bit too soft and not as... Actually, that's almost more interesting. So I might go back and... And this is part and parcel of it. It's going back and forth. Um, I might do anything under 0.5 and anything over 2. Just do that. Um, I'm going to sim it one more time and then we're going to move on. So let's just pause that. So um, I changed the uh, modul modulate influence to 0.5. Anything below 0.5, no vorticity. Anything above 2 gets vorticity. We ended up with this. Um, which I think looks not too bad. I'm getting that quite nice roll in. It's going up. Um, if we compare that to look at this one See, it's, it's nice here I like all that but then it starts to get bit it's not too bad I mean it's just a little bit noisier than this one you can see it sort of holds its form a bit more as it goes up um, <clears throat> and if we compare that to the before we added anything at all which is this one um, let's just make that a bit smaller It's sort of getting a lot more rolling in it as it goes up, which is more sort of smoky, um, like a big sort of smoke plume. Um, so that's that for adding influences. Obviously, there are a lot more you can use um, influences, simulation influences. Uh, you know, there's a lot of them. Um, so worth experimenting with. Um, so. 
that's sort of that for the basic setup of a smoke plume, um, sort of turbulent smoke plume. Um, I'll, in the next video, I'll do a bit of rendering.